Welcome back to part two of how to buy an REO property. And these are the things to look out for. The first thing is, since the owners of these foreclosed properties never see the actual property, they are not required to fill out a seller's disclosure, which means you might find out about a problem or issue with the property after you close on it. The other thing is that properties are sold in as is condition and the sellers rarely give any type of monetary credits or make repairs. So a home inspection, which is highly recommended, is for informational purposes only and cannot be used to renegotiate the price. However, in the unlikely event that a seller does agree to make any repairs, you will not receive any type of warranty on those repairs. The seller will not give you permission to make any repairs or remove any oil tanks before the closing. So cash financing is often king when it comes to this situation, since no bank approval is required for the purchase. Your earnest deposit will be held in the seller's titles company trust account until closing. Number five, you will pay more money for a title search if you don't use the seller's preferred title company for your title search. And number six, there are strict closing deadlines. So once you agree upon a closing date, you need to stick to it or you could be charged what is called a per diem fee until the day of closing if a delay is caused on your behalf. Now, number seven, depending on the time of year you buy your property after closing, you will need a plumber to dewinterize the property before you will have any running water. So that's it. If after watching this video, you are still ready to buy a foreclosed property, make sure you call or text me to be added to my VIP buyers list, 917-501-2222 or info at therealestatechampion.com. As usual, I hope you learned something today. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye for now.